Hi guys, it's Lawrence. Clipper asked a quick question as to how long it took to program the wings. So I thought I'd do a very short video just showing how long it took. Now, this is not a tutorial. I can do tutorials if you want me to, but this is just a, a quick so you can see how long it takes me. I'm not going to do both sides of the wings. Um, length of 31 inches in the board, uh, width of 9 inches, uh, a thickness of 3 quarters of an inch. You can do 3 quarters or 0.75, either one matters. It doesn't matter. So it shows my board right here. I can go in there and I can find my pattern that I'd already saved. And again, I'm not going to do both sections of the wings. I'm just going to do the, the main part just to show you. And you literally just click on it. And bang, it pops it on your board. And that'll carve it right out just like this if you load it up in your machine. Now there's some things you can do to, to, to help your cause along a little bit. Like uh, the first thing you can do is change the bit size because this pattern as it is right now will take about two hours to carve out. If I change it to a 3 16th inch ball nose, it's a larger bit. Um, so it actually is a much quicker uh, uh, carving. It takes it down to about an hour. So the next thing you can do is you can see here, let's see if I can get in close enough for you to see. You can see this is carved this piece out but it's not cut it out, it's just carved it. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and outline that pattern. And what that does is it creates a line all the way around the pattern. And then you can go and you can hit to a cut path. And what that does is you can choose which bit you want to cut it out with and the number of tabs that you want to set. Now what tabs are, just like when you built plastic models as a kid and the pieces came on the little plastic trees and you had to break off the tabs, those little plastic trees kept you from losing the parts. It kept them on there. And it's the same thing on this. Those little tabs will keep this wing from flopping around inside your machine and damaging the piece or your machine or your bit. So and then the last thing we're going to do is set the maximum pass depth. Uh, it's a three-quarter inch thick piece of wood. I probably would not cut it out all at one pass. I'll take three passes. So a, a 0.25 or you know a quarter of an inch um, means that it'll take three passes for this uh, carving to be cut out. So then I just go ahead and hit accept. And now if I click off of it, you can actually see that it has cut out this piece. If I flip it over to the back, you can actually see better how it's cut it out. So it really is that simple. Now, if you guys will um, sort of, you know, bide with me a little bit here, I'll, I'll show you another quick pattern and just show you how you can combine different things. So, like, for example, you can put text in here. So, so I can go to Lawrence's Bait Shop, and I can go through all these different fonts. And whatever fonts are loaded up on my computer are going to be in here. So my wife is holding a, a cough back in the background. She doesn't, doesn't want to disturb the video. That's very sweet of her. Sweetie, you can cough. So I can find whatever font um, that I, I think is going to look good, like that one there. Mistral looks pretty good. Lawrence's Bait Shop. I can go in there and just punch it in. And then I can move it around however I like on my board. And you can see how it actually will carve that in there. Uh, now the next thing we can do is maybe add some patterns on. Now I happen to know I've got quite a few patterns in here, uh, several hundred. Um, for example, I've got one of a worm on a hook. So I can go right there and then, oh, there's a worm on a hook. So now let me see if I can get a, a fish. I've got one that's uh, named bass, I think. And sure enough, I do. So I can go ahead and have my bass coming after the coming after the worm here and if you want you can just literally you can angle your bass with this little green arrow if you want to make it bigger or smaller you can just drag it if you want to elongate it you can just drag on the yellow thing with the ma your uh, your left mouse button it is really this easy to uh, to program now it's taken me a couple years I'm not gonna lie now if you look here this worm he's and hook he's faced away from the fish well, that's not what we want so you can just go in there and flip and rotate and turn it so he's facing towards the fish and he's got a scared look on his face. Um, so the next thing I want to do is maybe I don't like the way that's carved in there and I want to carve out from around it. So I'll change the type of carving that it is and change it to what's called a raster. So you can see the letters are instead of being cut into it, they're cut the same way as this carving is. 
And then the last thing I can do to make this sort of a nice looking thing, other than just maybe shrink my board down a little bit. Um, it doesn't need to be 31 inches long, maybe 24 inches long. Oh, that's 34. Maybe change it to 24 inches long. And then I can just move everything on over. Um, And then the last thing I can do, you can see what it did was, it's hard to hard to show you here, it's carved into the wood on each of these, and it, and it leaves uh, the carving down on the top surface. Uh, and you can change your depth, by the way, that's one thing I didn't do, is I can change this, change them all, say, to a quarter of an inch deep. Um, and if you, if you start with everything at a consistent depth, um, then you're then you're ahead of the game. So if you if you look right there, that everything is carved a quarter of an inch deep, but the top is still showing, then you can just say draw a box around it or an oval or whatever else you want to do, and you can just draw that box around it and have that carve into a, a quarter of an inch deep. And now you can see, it's going to go ahead and set it all up, and this is all ready to carve, and you can carve this out. You can see just how long, or, or how short a time, I should say, that it took. Now, say you had this pattern all set up, and you have it saved like this. Uh, a really nice thing is, if uh, you save this, and you want to just change the name, literally all you have to do is go in there and edit text, and uh, you can go to, you know, Clippers Bait Shop. And bang, it'll change that. Uh, if you if you don't like the font, it's just as easy to go in and find a different font that you do you know that you do care for, um, even just a square one. And it's it's being really slow right now just because I'm recording. But you can see just how easy this is. It, it it's about as simple as you can get. So if you guys have any more questions, I'd be more than happy to help. Uh, uh, I will throw one caveat in there. I, you know, I, I've recommended this machine to some folks, and they have had problems with them. I, I, I want to make sure that you guys understand that it's a hobby-level machine. It's made of plastic. Um, there are a lot of people that do business work with them, including me. I sell a lot of my stuff. Um, but it's about as cheap as you can get for a CNC. And although I've had really good luck, there's lots of people out there that haven't had quite as good luck with their machines. So I just wanted to make sure I throw that disclaimer in there. Um, but I appreciate the interest. And if you guys have any questions, uh, please be you know feel free to ask. I, I, this is mostly for the WWA, but um, I'm going to put it on YouTube. And if you guys on YouTube see it and have any questions, then fire away. Anyway, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.